Knock, knock. Hi guys. I'm Harvard dermatologist, Dr. Abby Waldman, and today I am going to do microneedling at home on me. So who can benefit from at-home microneedling? So microneedling works for many different skin conditions. It works for melasma, brown spots, hyperpigmentation. It works for alopecia, for hair loss. It works for skin remodeling, reducing wrinkles, just rejuvenating the skin and reducing pore size appearance. It can also improve stretch marks. So which type of at-home microneedling device should you get? Basically, there are really two types. One is a roller and one is a pen or a stamping device. Stamping devices and pens are better. They simulate what is done in the office and there's just more control about the depth of penetration that you're getting with that device. It also just tends not to tear the skin, whereas the derma rollers will tear the skin as they're going over the skin. They also can actually buzz the hair if you're using it for alopecia and kind of trim your hairs, which you might not want. The needles come in 0.5 to two millimeters. I really recommend starting with 0.5. It's a lot safer and you're still gonna get a really good effect at home with the 0.5 millimeter needle length. So how often can you do this? So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you have acne scars, especially deeper or hyperpigmented acne scars, you can do this um, once a week if your skin has recovered. I do it once every month. Um, generally, you know, again, I'm looking for skin resurfacing, reducing wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. So I find that like once a month is good. And I've been doing it for about the last five months or so. The reason I like it is it's something I can do at home. So how would you use this for alopecia? Same thing. You know, basically you would just show the little areas and you would, you know, put it right there. So what can you apply after microneedling? The best things to apply right afterwards are serums where the ingredients don't get in so easily. So vitamin C is one of those. Hyaluronic acid is also one of those. It just has a hard time penetrating through the outer epidermis for various reasons. And so the applying your serum right afterwards can help quite a bit. 